I will not sit down and say, my father said that she did that's what I'm doing, or my mother said that she did this, that's what I'm doing. They are the ones that say that she do it, that's why I'm doing it. I'd rather take responsibility for my action. If I go in there and it becomes a punching bag, I feel I can't come out because I may decide to enter. Nobody then push me enter there. If it's a rosy bed, please, I will lay it very well and sleep on it. Hello, welcome to today's show, Bold to Say. So today we have an exciting topic. But before we do that, I have my guest in the house as usual, my co-host. So let me start from my left. Ladies first. I am Sarah Odira. You can call me Sarah. Welcome. Whichever one you like. I'm Lico Richard. So the topic is, should your parents um, be involved or influence your decision on who to marry? Well, my parents, uh, it's my decision to make, not theirs. I mean, I'm the one that will live with the guy. If he's going to be to me, it's me he's going to not them, right? If we are going to enjoy each other's company, I'm the one that will wake up for as long as we do till death do us part. I'm the one that has to wake up to him every day, not them. So he, he has to be someone I want, not someone they want for me. If I go in there and it becomes a punching bag, I feel I can't come out because I may decide to enter. Nobody then push me enter there. If it's a rosy bed, please, I will lay it very well and sleep on it. So it's my decision, not theirs. You know, there is an adage that says, what an elder sees while sitting down. A child can never see it, even while climbing a ladder. Mm. Do you understand? So, and one thing you should take into uh, consideration is that your parents, they want the best for you. Mm. They will always want the best for you. They've always started that while you were young. They groomed you mm. from your childhood. Up to the stage of getting married, it is their it is their greatest joy that you marry the best person that will give them peace of mind. They don't want you to keep coming back to them because as at that moment you are leaving their house, they want you to be in a safe hand. So I prefer them giving you the person you are going to marry, choosing for you, because wait a minute, let me learn, because they know that. If you go into this family, because in the olden days, let me go back. Before you get married, there must we've, we've lost culture. There must be a certain stage whereby a representative will be will be presented from your family to go into that family to go and research about what they do and what they don't do in their family. What is a taboo and what is not a taboo? In their family, okay. Let's now bring it back, back to normal days. Parents sometimes can be can be can be so emotionally driven that okay. they will not see what you are seeing. Yeah. They are seeing what they are seeing because you know that in their own time, what happened in their own time different from our own days. All of those things that happened then that did not happen now. now. Okay, there are several things. Like, in those days, there's no phone. There's no um, women. Women have to sit at home now. Women go out to work. They also want to earn. But in those days, women sit at home and probably don't follow their husband to the farm. And we give birth to them and then give birth. I will encourage anybody, as long as soon as you found somebody, take them to your family. Take them to your father, take them to your parents. Let them also interview them, interrogate them. One are the days when the parents will be the ones to tell you that okay, do this. But and again, parents will also go to the family of that spouse of yours that you have brought. They will go and find out what do they have, what is wrong with their family, what do they have any sickness, do they have any disease, is there any madness, is there anything that that um, um we should not be a part of? So, but take but I don't subside the fact that somebody will get you just. Pick a partner, and then the next thing you go to registry. But, but you are telling me that this is what is happening now. Most of our ladies now, 
They don't want to care about what is happening in that family. What they want to be, I found him, I like him, we love each other, he's educated, he's working in a good place, and you want to marry daddy, you have no opinion, anything you say, I'll kill myself if you don't allow me to marry him. Is he only ladies? And guys, it is good, you can marry a bad wife. But to marry a, to get married and have a bad in love is the worst. You can marry a bad husband, but having a bad in law is the worst. And if you look deeply into it, it is true. Because if you marry a bad wife, along the line, with time, you start coping with each other, if you love each other, and if you are seeing each other every day, one way or the other, you can find a way to meet at a point and also rectify your differences and start living well. But if your in laws don't like you, there's nothing you can do that will be good in their in their in their in their presence. There's nothing you want in their absence that you they will like. They always want you to be thrown out of their house. I've seen situations where ladies get into relationships and they are practically endeared by the parents. The parents are like our wife, sisters, our wife, everybody our wife. But brother doesn't see the baby as his wife. So what what happens? So it's That's not about the parents. parents. You're not marrying the parent alone. You're also marrying the man. So if you're not the man's choice, if he's a strong-willed man, we are not talking about mommy's boy, daddy's boy. I don't object to the point, uh, to the fact that you need to, my, my parents must, must, it's not should, must have an opinion on who I will end up with. So what are we talking now? No, you, but my point is, they do not go out there and pick someone for me and tell me we have decided that this is who you will marry because we are your parents. They cannot do that. They have a choice. The old is not. We see uh, this, that, that. They have every right to it. But, but we don't. We don't accept. Uh, no, we don't accept that they have the right because we are already glued to our partner. That's where we are now. You mean your parents say? No, you can't marry this guy because of this. You start having issues. But you know that parents also sometimes can make mistakes. Parents do make mistakes. Let they let do make mistakes. mistakes. They did that, pick a good girl and give to a man, and then they say you will grow in love. There's mm -hmm. nothing like growing in love. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't have any old days. This is an old day story. It's and if I want to get personal about it, my grandmother. Whom I am named after. Her name is Sarah. Her name is Odira. She died till her death. She never experienced love from my grandfather because the love was never there. He wasn't, she wasn't his child, but she was a good girl. She was a virgin. She was born all the way, innocent girl at the age of 13 to marry this man. But till the day she died, she died young. She wasn't supposed to die at the time she died. For 43 was when she died. Wow. No love on her deathbed. The man did not care. And what even cost her death? If there was care, she would have lived maybe till today. Mm. So that thing of let parents choose for you. No. Because you are the one that will suffer everything. So your parents, there's nothing wrong with your parents helping you actually to get the life partner, to get the spouse. But at the same time, those parents, they could they could be emotional about it. They might not they might not pick somebody because of you. They will pick because for themselves. I've seen the parents that feel that um, if they feel, pick this person for their child, she will be able to to get help them get money from their son. So that their child, you know, maybe they have that, that they think that okay, if their child marry, their son married than that person, we'll spending and he'll be spending on that, on, on that lady alone. But they want somebody that that they can easily manipulate, and he easily manipulate to collect something from. Yeah. You know, their parents like that. Yes. So by the time you have parents behaving like that you know that they are doing it for their own selfish interest not because of your own interest they don't even care if you love that person or you don't love that person yes so that aspect is there parents can be very selfish when it comes to that but at the same time you need their blessing if you are dating a lady in fact before you get to the level of marrying that person 
if there is communication in between the parents, you would have known if they were agree. I, I, I have something to check. He said the relatives are in the parents are no the relatives must. So I would like to ask that. Okay. What if you don't have a relationship with the relatives? What if your relatives, your relatives, don't have your best interest at heart? It doesn't matter whether you like them or not. They actually give your hand out in marriage, and that is when the marriage is authentic. What now, family? now wait, wait. I will, I'm coming up. Okay. I'm coming up to that. Okay. Fine. Everybody can be called family, but the family they are referring to when it comes to marriage is your family related by blood, and the, that is the essence of traditional marriage, and that is the essence of paying bride price. That is why when the bride price is being paid. And the items are being brought from the event. They will share it among them. It is very, very unconstitutional, unacceptable, untraditional, untraditional <laughs> for you to bring somebody that is not related to them. For that person to give your hand out in marriage. I can sue you for that. Anybody can actually sue you that no, this man did not marry you. I think that has told you. And they, if they trace it as, and actually uh, uh, brought it out that the person is not from there, the marriage is not lampoid. That you, know, you might not show show the first show those family members who you want to marry or do anything. But when it is time, you will see that some people they will go back to the village. They will just do it for that same period. Let me just let them go, do for what they want. Because they have the right. Any uh, marriage or let's say wedding that is done yes. without fulfilling the traditional rights, yes, we are not, not yet. We are not married. So, what if I just go to registry? I go to registry and I get married to you my see, Do you know that most, most registry that we go to, yes. there is a column for the or, uh, other the parents, but most of us we go along when we want to, uh, you know, you know, uh, but cut mm. the family line. Mm. The family, the father and mother must attest to that wedding. We young uh, guys now or ladies, we don't speak one of two of our friends and go to the registry and mm. they are married and married. Mm. No, it's not in the constitution of Nigeria. Like, uh, your parents are not available or they are not alive. That's, that's different. They have families. Like I said, your parents are not alive if he or she has some, he or she has somebody from your father's house. Mm. In fact, if it is just one small boy that is remaining in that family, that person, if you see it in traditional marriage, if it's a small boy that is the youngest boy that is remaining, that boy will sit as a father. Or oh, that, or oh, that, yes. do, you, do you understand? Yes. Court is registry, um, registry is the same thing as court, Abby. Yes. And there's a place of traditional marriage. The traditional marriage, if for me, for me, if you do traditional marriage, you have fulfilled all obligations oh, and you are true. free. But uh, the legal marriage is also maybe documentation. Documentation! Which the traditional one for God is the main marriage. marriage. I suppose okay. that a parent should never choose for their child. What should you choose for them? Because you can't be selfish in your choice. Some parents will say, because this guy has money, marry him. Because it's from a good background, I could get contracts from there, marry him, the generation that we are now, and the ones coming behind us. They don't care. I'm not sure they will ever do traditional wedding. It's just for the glamour and it's the only way they are shaped and they are shaped. They go to registry and they are done. They will never do the, this thing. So now, now, it is also essential that we should always we will you should always inform our parents yes. when we are getting married yes. because the traditional rights is important okay. parents now don't even do any research again exactly they don't do research that's in those days the only research. research is what contract am i getting uh -huh. what is their financial background what is their social status uh 
how is it going to elevate our the family? family? I still stand on the opinion that they should come together. Agree. It's not something you can do on your own. So now, you as Christian, born again, Jim Jim. Okay. Fire. Okay. Holy Ghost fire. Okay. Controlling. Now, okay. when they do like this, fire. Okay. When they draw. Uh -huh. Tom Kabashing, brother of the Holy Ghost. Eh? Okay. They come carry, you can't fall in love in the name of love, or you can't mm. say you're, you are falling in love. Okay. With this beloved, beautiful damsel. Okay. Who is a very strong jum jum, the same level of anointing where you get, and the same, I don't know if you call that her own anointing too. She's a complete traditionalist. I love that your uh, point that you are bringing up, but have you considered yeah. that? I'm that falling in love might be a tool for evangelism to combat her. Have you, you considered that? That I might fall in love in order to convert her to my own religion. Because if I am a very true, dedicated, and Holy Ghost fire to a speaking in tongues guy, I will use that to, you know, correct everything in her and bring her to my side. And if she truly loves me, she will dance to my you, you, and she will fall in, in love with me and she will start going to church with me. Do not unequally yo be unequally yo because unbeliever because you might be the one that will be converted. I can't be converted Why will you because I know what I carry. Yes. What if you not fall in love with someone of the other religion? No. Because we already said you want to find your man by yourself. What if you fall in love? There's nothing wrong in you falling in love with somebody from the opposite religion or another religion. Nothing wrong actually. But as my own no, my own view, personally, okay. I will not even fall in love. I will not even start that relationship. Are Anything you sure? Like, yes, because somebody of my that is not of my religion. How am I are we going to understand each other? But we have seen instances of people falling in love and up to do that like like our president now. The wife is from another religion, and he's also, and they are living well. Look at where they are now. Religion is one of the major factors that makes the parents decide. Most times, they normally say, I am a Christian, I don't want you to go and marry from the other religion. And if you look at it, they are right in one way or the other, and they want to make sure that they guide you to do the right thing. But now that you are saying, Will you go with that? and now say because of religion i will accept but when it's not religion i will not accept their direct what is the meaning of that okay so now after our final conclusion about our thoughts in conclusion parents your own duty is for you to advise your children but not enforce anybody on them it is not your duty to do that let them make their choice let them follow the biblical pattern that say a man that looks for a wife Get a good thing and obtain favor from God. Let them obtain the favor from God and not you obtaining the favor. Your own is to advise and help them guide them, but not enforce anyone on them. Let the children too. Don't go and do um, marriage outside of your parents. Don't take an external person and 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 um, pay bright price to them that it is wrong. So on this note, we come to the end of the show. And uh, please, as we always say, if you want to be a part of the show, you will see our email in the description box. Please send us an email to be a part of the show. And please subscribe to our channel. Comment and give us your feedback on every video, on everything you want us to talk. If there's a topic in your mind, please give us a feedback on it. Okay, just follow me on my Instagram and Ola.LakeOnRichard. I'll be waiting to accept your request. Thank you. And you can follow me at on Instagram at Sarah underscore Odira. And I will follow you right back. So now come to the end of the show. Bye. Bye.